you making? It's um that vegan like takeout. Like, the one you watch. Yes, I'm actually trying it. It's, I'm, I'm gonna see. I feel like it tastes good with chicken too with the sauce. She bending it over for us today. What you gonna add? Huh? What are you adding? Pepper. Like I'm gonna thank you. I'm gonna add pepper. Come on, here. Oh, that one? No. <laughs> oh. I'm just scared. Just. <laughs> so what's the difference? You just call it flour. Somebody oh, gonna say organic. That's the $4.99. How much is that one? This is $2.99. Okay, yeah, get the $2.99. It does. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is what you just say? Say it again. Hmm. Say it one more the time. Oven roasted pan. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. Cause she had what? Well, she had just the cauliflower and the sauce. So I'm probably gonna add peppers in mine. So she was Probably where the um flour and stuff. Because I need that brown sugar and soy sauce. So bad, I guess it's not good. Right. That's real it's like a little sweet meal. Well, you know how like sweet sour chicken. Nah, not That's a fan. Right. <laughs> um, right. Oh, she actually said you can use maple syrup too. Uh like a, like she dashes that, like to kind of like mix it. That's not seasoning, that's sugar. So mix in with like when your pot. Oh. That's awesome. Come on. I ain't got time. <laughs> oh, what? Do it again? No. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> da -da. All right, guys. So I'm in the kitchen now, and we're just going to really jump into this. So I'm going to be following Rachel Ama's instructions on how to make this dish. It's with cauliflower. It's almost like a like a sesame chicken takeout, but the chicken will be, will be replaced with cauliflower. Oh, um, I've had cauliflower substitute food and it's been like really delish. Um, there have been some things that I try to make and it was like, uh, mm. But um, today I'm really excited. I have everything but the sesame seeds and the ginger, and I forgot. Well, the, I forgot the sesame seeds and the ginger. I just forgot. No, the ginger I just didn't get because I didn't know how to like use the ginger. I don't. I don't. I just didn't know. So I'm going to be following along her video, and we're gonna give this a go. Okay, so I have prepped everything. Well, kind of pre-prepped a little bit of everything. I washed my hands and now we're gonna start the tutorial. Let's get into the recipe. So I've got some cauliflower, depending on how thick it is, you wanna use one or two. And I've also got some ginger, bread from soy sauce, stuff for cooking up if you don't want soy, rice, garlic, spring onions, plain flour, cornstarch, and those are the basic essential ingredients we're gonna be using. So you wanna start off by breaking apart the cauliflower, taking off the stem. And with cauliflower, you just want to kind of chop it what comes natural to the cauliflower, if that makes any sense. You yeah. want to keep them in shape. So as you can see, I'm kind of finding the stem where it would break apart naturally, and I'm forcing that break. This is probably an awful description, but... And with cauliflower, you just want to kind of chop it what comes natural to the cauliflower, if that makes any sense. You want to keep them in shape. 
So as you can see, I'm so then you have these little bits of cauliflower that we're now going to season up. So to a bowl, I'm going to call it, this is probably a normal description, but I feel like you know what I mean. And so then you have these little bits of cauliflower that we're now going to season up. So to a bowl, I'm going to add in some plain flour and some So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of the cauliflower that I have in a bowl to kind of like try to clean it off some before I go mix it in because I found some stuff in there. I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. Um, so I'm going to do that and I think after this I'm going to probably wash my rice and start my rice. Or I may, I may do my rice after that. I'm going to just follow the instructions, follow the instructions. This is probably an awful description, but I feel like you know what I mean. And so then you have these little bits of cauliflower okay. that we're now going to season up. So to a bowl, I'm going to add in some plain flour and some corn. I'm also adding in a nice okay. pinch of salt okay. and some garlic granules and some onion granules. Which is optional if you don't have of salt. So then you have two a bowl and some garlic add in some plain flour and some corn. I'm also adding I'm going to okay. season okay. up. Some plain flour and some corn starch. Okay. She said flour, yeah, flour and cornstarch. Three, three spoons. Then you have these little bits of cauliflower that we're now going to season up. So to a bowl, I'm going to add in some plain flour and some corn. I'm also adding in a nice pinch of salt and some garlic granules and some onion granules and some garlic granules and some onion granules which is optional if you don't have it you don't have to add it it'll be corn i'm also adding in a nice pinch of salt and some garlic granules and some onion granules which is optional if you don't have it you don't have to add it it'll just add some more flavor then i'm adding in some plant-based milk and you could just use water if you don't have plant-based milk or you want to keep it cheap 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 and granules which is optional to season up so to a bowl i'm going to add in some plain flour and some corn i'm also adding in a nice and you want to whisk it together until it's nice and smooth and i'm also going to dash in a little bit of soy sauce which again Oops. optional something all right to so i'm actually keeping up just a little fast but i am keeping up and um yeah okay i think we at the consistency that it I think I'm gonna show y'all because I think this is the consistency. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting ready to dip our cauliflower, well, my cauliflower, into the mixture. And mix it straight in there, and you really want to coat them up. Get it. to just start on the rice clean the rice and do that so when I come back I can do the sauce okay, so now we're getting ready to do the sauce portion actually the cauliflower I show a clip of how that looks it looks pretty good it looks crispy a little bit um, the rice just finished cooking and we're gonna jump into the sauce. I lost my train of thought. Now I'm gonna make a sauce to put the cauliflower in. I don't have garlic. And ginger and some sesame oil. Or ginger. Soy sauce. And some so I do actually have some garlic. I do. Um, let me see. You can just use maple syrup, baked syrup, agave, whatever your favorite sweeteners are. If you want to keep it simple, just use sugar. Okay. Then I'll 
brown sugar and you can just add brown sugar, fruit syrup, strawberry. I don't have I tomato paste, but I have tomato, I have ketchup. Gonna use that. <laughs> and it's water burger ketchup, but we gonna make it work today. So make sure, make sure, agave, okay. whatever your favorite sweeteners are, okay. Okay. keep it simple, just use sugar. Plating the food. Yeah, that's soft. Bro, we add some green onions real quick. So um, I'll see y'all in my next video.